Hello my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you are my returning subscriber, God bless you for always coming back to support me whenever I drop new video. I really appreciate. My baby robot is 9 months plus and I have started giving him solid food for breakfast. So this is what I am going to be sharing with you today. What my 9 months old baby eats, eats for breakfast and snacks. Are you ready? Let's go. So before, when he was still like six, seven months, I normally wake up in the morning and give him, um, give him formula or breastfeed him. But since he's nine months now, I have started introducing solid food even for his breakfast. So I have my oatmeal here, the roll oats. So I'm just going to take some of the oats and blend them into and blend them into powder i want to blend since this is the first time of making this oatmeal for him i want to blend it and see if he's going to enjoy it before i will start making it even without blending so as you can see i have started blending it with my blender and i'm just going to take some of the oats i'm not going to finish all of them so i have my pot on fire here I'm going to be using one cup of his formula, his liquid formula, which is the number two. I'm just going to take a cup of it and pour it in the pot that I have on fire and allow it to warm before pouring the oatmeal. This is the oatmeal I blended a while ago. So I will also be needing some ripe banana. You need a very ripe banana so that you can press it. So I'm just going to peel the banana and use a fake to press it into puree because I will also be adding some banana puree to the oatmeal porridge. So you just peel, wash your banana first, peel and just take your time to press it just the way I am doing now. The milk is hot now. I will just add like one or two spoons of the oat powder depending on how your baby it so you just try and turn it as much as possible to uh, to to avoid the the oats porridge having lumps or you can use a hand whisk to whisk it to make it very smooth that is what i'm just doing here now then after turning it for a while you just allow it to cook and here is the outcome you need like five to six minutes to cook the oatmeal and after I allowed it to, to, uh, to cook for like 5 minutes, I now added my banana puree to it and just turn it and allow it to cook for under 1 minute and we are done with our oatmeal. Guys, trust me, this oatmeal is very tasty. Yes, I have been making oatmeal for myself before but I don't normally blend it into powder before making it. But when I tasted this very one that I made into powder, man, it was so sweet. So give it a try. You will love it. So we are through with our serving. I'm just going to start feeding him. You can see him there. He's very hungry. He wants to eat before taking his bath. So here is how the feeding go. You know, he's always happy to eat. My boy loves eating. He makes motherhood journey very easy for me because when your baby eats everything, you have nothing to worry about. Anything you cook for him, he eats. So he's making everything so easy for me. So the feeding continues. You know, when you are feeding him, he, al he always wants 
he wants to grab the plate so i was a little bit far from him and because of the camera just take a look at how he's looking into the camera <laughs> because he knew that i was filming him so he wanted to know what was going on the feed continue and trust me he finished all the oatmeal i didn't even believe it myself he finished it and this is the first time of me eating this oatmeal and he finished everything i was so shocked and the good part of this oatmeal is that he he remains full for a very long time when he eats this oatmeal he ate this oatmeal for like i think like 7 30 to 8 in the morning and 12 o'clock he was still playing even without looking for something to eat he was just okay then when it was 12 30 i decided to make fruit for him and i will also be bringing you along to prepare his fresh fruit snacks are you ready let's go but before we go if you have not subscribed to my channel can you tell me what is stopping you from supporting a sister and a friend please subscribe share with your friends and family and my god will bless you and if you know that you are enjoying this video so far continue watching as i show you how i am going to prepare his fruit snacks are you ready let's go so i have some strawberry and apple here so i'm just going to wash them and clean them very well so i will be right back so after washing and cleaning here is the strawberry and the apple i'm not going to be using all of the apple i remove just some slice so here is my grater guys this grater is a lifesaver for me very easy to use whenever i am whenever i'm too busy to prepare his fruit on ahead because i normally prepare his fruit like two times in a week if i am unable to prepare i just use this grater to grit his apple his banana now that we have strawberry all over the place so i just use this to grit his fruits fruits and it is very it is saving a lot of time for me so i am true with his uh, with greeting his fruit so i'm just going to keep it for now because he is still plain i'm going to cover it and just put some one or two things together before feeding him with the fruit so after making the fruit since i'm not going to be feeding him immediately i decided to add some lemon juice to it to preserve it for me remember the color might change any moment from now so i just added some lemon juice to it i'm just going to mix very well and i am going to take this my container and keep it aside whenever he feels hungry i'm just going to feed him with the fruit before making his lunch now i have this my food container that i bought from amazon very easy and very small in size so i'm just going to put the fruit in in there and i am going to cover it whenever he's ready to eat his fruits i will just take it and feed him right there so this container are very they are also life saver for me because i just prepare and close it it can be kept in the freezer it can be put in microwave this is how i bought it it's a container for food eco-friendly bpa free so you can see it is very when i saw this container i was i fell in love with this container because i prepare a lot of fruit for him and i just save the his fruit or his food in there i can put them in the freezer i can put them in the fridge i can put them in microwave so i'm so in love with this my tiny container for my little boy so this is the container if you are interested in it i will be dropping the link on the description box so we have come to the end of today's video thank you very much for watching please always remember to live healthy in order to stay fit because your head is your weight 
till I come your way again. Bye-bye.